Turin, Italy, June 21st, 2015. Inside the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist, the leader of the Roman Catholic Church, Pope Francis, prays before a 14-foot-long ancient linen cloth. The occasion attracts media attention because it is the first time that the cloth has been shown publicly in over five years. This Christian holy relic is referred to as the Shroud of Turin. The Shroud of Turin is this amazing relic. At bottom, it's a piece of cloth. It shows a very faint sort of image of a crucified man. And the crucified man calls us to remember Jesus' death and resurrection. The Bible talks about the burial cloth. All four of the Gospels mention that Jesus was taken down from the cross. He was wrapped in linen, and then his body was put in the tomb. According to the legends, the shroud is the cloth that his dead body is wrapped in. And because of the contact with the body of Jesus, that transforms and leaves a lasting mark on the cloth. And so the shroud is believed to be a holy relic because you don't get much more uh, holy than the actual blood of Jesus. After the resurrection, the shroud completely disappeared. The first appearance of the shroud in the written record is 1389 in France. It was kept in the capital of the Duchy of Savoy, a place called Chambéry. It had been moved around from time to time, but in 1578, it was brought from there to Turin. And so it's a way for people to be in the presence of Jesus. While people all over the world have been struck by its stunning imprint of the face of Jesus Christ, not everyone's convinced that the shroud is a genuine holy relic. Ever since the shroud first really appears in history, uh, there's been controversy about it, and there have been questions about its authenticity. In 1988, a group of scientists were able to get permission to get a sample from the shroud and to subject it to radiocarbon dating. And then they announced with a 95% degree of certainty that the shroud was medieval. And uh, wow, that's a tremendous blow to everybody who thought that the shroud might be real. But then as time went on, experts began to look at it and it was finally determined that the test was taken from the very end of the shroud, not where the image is. And it really turned out to be a patch that had been woven by ancient weavers. They weaved it back together on that particular area. When those guys came out with their carbon-14, they tested the wrong piece. Nobody's proved it a fake yet.